All right, good morning. We are out here in beautiful Del Mar, New York, about an hour south of Lake George. Out of breath. <laughs> Got called here for a gutter clean, and then without any effort, uh, got a house wash out of it. They asked if I house washed, said I would do it while I was there. So, got some water. It, in my mind, it's a little safer to be up here than uh, moving the ladder around. There's a lot of obstacles. Trek deck is a little wet this morning. So, let's see if we can move through here, get some of these gutters cleaned up. Oh, wow, look at that gutter. Ooh -wee. Drop a card off there. Maybe just knock on the door, see if they want a dome on here. Um, uh, my hook boots have taken a bit of a beating this year. It's pretty rough to them. And uh, there we go. Let's get some of this water out of here. Gutter is pretty clean. Downspout's open. Got a lot of debris out of there. That's all from just this gutter. But uh, it appears to me that either the, the pitch, the run here, was either never correct or maybe the house has settled because the gutters are relatively clean. Um, a lot cleaner now than they were. And even after getting all that debris out, they still did not want to drain the water. As you saw, I had to push it by hand. So, I had to talk to the homeowner about that, just let them know. Still a little water in there, all the debris out. And they just might need a gutter guy to come and just shape that pitch a little bit better. Um, 12 minutes and 43 seconds. Charged over 100 bucks for that. I don't get on the ladder for anything less than 100. If all these were clean, he said he could reach those by hand. <clears throat> Alright, this was a little tricky to navigate, so we'll get down to the ground and we'll go look at our chem, or uh, lack thereof, before we start this house wash. Okay, uh, we're done with the gutters. We're about to get started on our house clean here. There's the 10 gallon mark, and I don't even know what that is. Two gallons, maybe? Look at that, it's like at the bottom of the tank. I think we are at a little bit of truck's not completely even. But if you look over here, there's a there's a little bit more, right? Um probably less than five gallons though. This drop stick goes down within like an eighth of an inch of the bottom. So we got plenty of room here. House isn't too bad, there's a couple dirty spots. And uh We'll let the dwell, will the dwell time be a little higher there with a lower percentage of SH. Okay. 
Let's see. How's our buffer? I don't know if we filled this up yesterday after we left that job. We didn't. There's about half a tank. So here's what we're going to do. We'll run a hose line out here. Let's fill the buffer tank and then we'll disconnect. We'll disconnect uh, from the house. So I was coming over here to uh, get the hose. They had a homeowner from over here was pulling out. Flagged him down. Gave him a little pitch. Uh, gave him a price and a quote. And he said that he was running late, headed to work. But uh, in about 15 or 20 minutes when he got there, he was going to call his wife. And uh, I told him that, listen, if they want it done, she can just hang her head out the door, yell at me. And uh, if I don't hear from him, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing here. But he is most likely going to... Uh, he's most likely going to have me do it. So by the end of this video, you might see me over here on this house. But... Uh, that's how you do it. You guys are, you guys ask, how are you getting these jobs? How are you doing jobs? Well, I guess that's on. Um, oh. Bush. You just gotta let people know. It's, it's out here, man. The business is out there. People just don't know. You know? They don't know that there's someone that is willing and able to get up there. And all they have to do is pay you. That's all they got to do. Alright. Run this to the truck. Fill up our buffer tank. And uh, we got a few things to do after this. But I have a feeling that once we fill up this buffer tank, we might be good for the day. So won this gutter clean and it was really easy she said can I pay you she said can I pay you uh, right now in case I'm tied up later I said if you just make a check to Lake George Shingle Shine put it under the windshield wiper I'll leave it there until I'm all done so we're gonna finish up over here and we're gonna do these gutters and all I had to do was ask all I had to do was ask kind of seen there and as you will see we'll be over on the other house in just a little bit doing some gutters really really a lot easier than a lot of people think trying to find a little business 
um, it's a really nice upsell not going to take us long to do that it's going to add a little revenue to our day and uh most importantly is i didn't have to spend any money to get that job it was a cheap right just had to ask didn't have the market for it and again it's just gonna we're gonna add a little revenue if you do that a couple times a week once a day it's you're gonna be too busy People want stuff done. And if you're willing to do something that they don't want to do, well, that's how you start getting paid. Okay, all cleaned up. Look at that. I'm sure you can see from here, trim is nice and white, siding's nice and clean. We pitch in this whole roof, actually. All that black streaking up here, that'd be a really easy one to do. All right, let's get cleaned up here. Stuff. This ball valve and the pump off. off we're gonna open this ball valve back up again right here in the grass we got pressure off the pump now cams off flush that out a little bit of an incline so when you come over here there's a little bit left almost just as much as when we started so probably another one or two gallon house wash uh, let's go over here it's got a ladder up let's do this gutter line so that's what we were seeing from over on that roof and I just couldn't let this stay she was saying that the squirrels get up in here they're getting these pine cones, throwing them on the deck. <laughs> Let's do this lower section. We'll get some of this junk off the roof. Not all of it, but we'll get some of it. Do uh, this here that I can reach. And then we'll move our ladder over there. We'll probably go up on the roof. Clean the other side from here. Well, that happens sometimes. We got our bucket. That's what I was saying the other day, uh, yesterday, in that uh, roof wash video, <laughs> almost threw that uh, almost threw that brush off the roof. And I was up pretty high in a place that I wouldn't have really wanted to go down and get it. This is not the first time that's happened get them uh get them a little full the weight changes I knocked it and it went and the orange bucket on my truck which holds some like you know, spray bottles and rags and brushes that's broken because it fell off the roof <laughs> i've had a leaf blower go off the roof wands go off the roof Sorry, we need to empty this anyway. So you always want to ask people where you want it to go. 
This guy had me dump it over there on their property line. This guy wants it in that bin. I'll probably edit out some of the fluff here, depending on how long this video ends up being. I'm gonna try to keep the camera running the whole time that we're doing the gutter cleaning at least. So you can see just how long this upsell took. Lately, I've had some pretty easy gutter cleans. That one was really easy and quick. This is an actual gutter clean here, multiple levels, little ladder movement. So we will, uh, we're just gonna keep moving, keep the camera going as much as possible. Got some decent battery life, so we should be okay. But, uh, it really doesn't take too long to do this stuff. This is a good one here to show though. So I don't like to talk about the pricing too much when it comes to the house washing and stuff just because and roof washing that's like my bread and butter. I don't know who in the area is watching, not that it really matters because I know that we're all basically pricing the same way. Um and it's easy, you know, if you want to find out what someone's pricing, I've talked about that on multiple videos. A good way to figure that out. But if there is someone in my area watching, they just make sure they do their homework. <laughs> and you're just going to tell them. But for the gutter, for the gutter cleaning, I don't uh, get on a ladder for less than 100 bucks. This one I did 150. I don't mind talking about the gutters too much because I think everyone... I think everyone basically charges the same 100 200 bucks or something like that it really depends i change my pricing all the time for gutters depending on how i'm feeling some days i just don't want to do them if people call me i'll say 225 if i don't get it i didn't really want it and if i get it i'm gonna a little bit more <clears throat> i'm gonna do that section over there but i'm not really thrilled about putting i don't like putting these legs on decks too much so I think we're gonna get up on the roof here from the front. But um, this one quoted 150. Right out here in the street there. And it's a good price, it's a reasonable price, right? 150, some quick work. And they didn't even, they just, they took it, right? So we'll see, we're at the eight minute mark. And some of this is not work, right? It's walking around, moving the bucket, and gonna move the ladder. I guess it is a little bit of work, but it's not actually the gutter clean. But we'll be we'll be done here in the next 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, and we're charging 150 for it. Even if it took an hour, even if this whole place took an hour, it's pretty hard to find 150 bucks an hour these days. And this is all this is what I'm doing. You see it. <laughs> Better hurry up, it is draining my battery quicker than I thought. I said in a recent video, my buddy gave me a bunch of GoPro stuff. I got like eight batteries now, it's incredible. We used to only have two, which just isn't enough. <clears throat> got like four in the truck now. Five maybe. 
front's not too bad here. Can't be left alone. If they want me bad enough, they'll leave me. That is one thing that has made business a little tricky these days. I don't know if it's a robocall. I don't answer my phone. <laughs> if someone wants me, my, my voicemail has my company name and everything in it. Sorry I'm busy. I can't get the phone right now. Most people are really good about leaving a message. But the more, the more that you answer those robocalls, the more you get. It's a numbers game. It's all a system. It all gets reported to whatever is generating these calls if you answer it they say oh this guy's gonna answer his phone he's a dummy and you get more and more and more i was answering my phone earlier in the year left and right i was trying to get business i didn't care what the number was what the area code was because i am in a very touristy area lake george and you get people from all over the country all over the world so i was answering everything and then quickly noticed that i was getting way 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 too many robocalls and uh i just stopped answering everyone i don't answer my phone for anything uh, unless i know the number once i do business with you once you go into my phone and if you ever call again i answer using your name using your first name i think that's really uh professional if someone calls you six months or a year after a job and you say hey mike what's going on uh, a lot of times they, they kind of pause and they're like, oh, hey, what's going on? I wonder if you can come back and do something. But uh, if, uh, if the phone rings and it's nothing, there's nothing there. No, uh, no caller ID and no, uh, no voicemail. I don't, I don't even call it back. In my experience, someone has gotten your number from something or someone whether it's a mailer an ad referral they will leave a message or they'll call with a voicemail i haven't gotten either of those right now so whoever just called me is not getting called back get way too many phone calls i mean it's very seldom that i'm shooting a video that my phone doesn't beep or ring and it's not it's not all business family and friends and emails and notifications for different things i got on my phone but more than more likely than not some sort of notification is coming through usually when i'm shooting videos and it's just it's just it's too much right you got to filter some of that out so if it's not and immediately ask for my services i don't know they they got to do something about those robo calls because it, it does it does affect you but i can't be right i mean you can't be chasing down these numbers all day long clearly it's I'm trying to show I'm really trying to show you how easy it is to to get business out here you don't need to go <laughs> i'm not going to go chasing down every number that calls and doesn't leave a message uh, right, we're getting there that's all we got left here i'm going to try to get it in there i really don't want to go down and empty this bucket <sighs> just to come back up here for this little bit <sighs> getting too full and I'll just fall back in. Every time that you're on site, you can get some other business. Even if you don't do it that day, you can still hand out a card. Look at these Sal, Sal's, 
what's that say from here salisbury pro sealers that one looks like it was recently done there's no sign there i don't know if they did it but salisbury pro sealers salisbury pro sealers salisbury pro sealers right i'm sure that they had a guy walking and knocking weather's been nice here it's fall people are outside and uh I see what's going on there's like something out here like some little sensor like i keep hearing it beep every time i go by it i don't know what i was doing um no different than what i did here out here doing something see someone that can use your services you're here let them know this guy the one that i was there at first he uh Wait, what is that beeping? Oh, um, the way that I pitched that gutter to him, the way that I've a lot of times been pitching some stuff, so I don't pitch all of them. Sometimes you end up to a gutter job and it's just a little higher than you thought it was going to be, or, or whatever, you know. But for most of them, I say you can clean your gutters, get all the debris out, yada yada yada, that whole spiel, and if you like, I can add you to our seasonal rotation. They can come and do this for you every year. If you need it done a second time during the season, just let me know. That way, you'll never have to look for a gutter cleaner again. Simple. <laughs> you do that with the house washes. I don't do, uh, I don't try to get seasonal contracts or anything like that or, uh, I don't even do like contract. Everyone always asks me for like the plow season stuff. Like, oh, you want a contract? You got a contract? And I said, no, I, I do an agreement. I don't want anyone to ever feel penned. I have to be your plow guy or I have to be the gutter guy. But how about we just have an agreement that I'll be your gutter guy until you don't want me to do it anymore? It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be fancy. I don't do anything on paper. There's nothing that says here, sign here, I'm your gutter guy. Just, you want me to show up every year? Okay, I will. Let me know when you don't want me to do it anymore. Let me know if you find something cheaper. Whatever it is, it's that simple. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. A lot of people like to overcomplicate things. Or they, you know, you think, you think that people want it to be firm and stern. They run a business, I want a contract not like that not even for not even for snow removal and you'll find out if you just <clears throat> act like a decent person an honest person people people will pay you and they will do stuff without an agreement without a contract without anything on paper she's had the check right there all morning that guy had to run to work he wrote me a check decent sized check for gutters and house wash he paid me before he left he paid me before i even had my ladder up to start to build the thing he's like man i gotta run to work do your thing i could have driven off from both of these people could have taken that check i could have taken that check could have been out of here see ya sign off sure there are people out there that do that but most people are trustworthy people and they are and they believe that there are still good people out there and both of these people and a lot of my plow contracts paid me before I did any work. I'm already collecting money. I have been uh, collecting, I've been collecting my prepayment for plow season. Thousands and thousands of dollars. I don't bill. I offer a lower rate. I'm a little cheaper than some of the other guys in the area. But the other guys have to bill after every storm. They have to chase down money. Someone didn't pay. Someone hasn't, oh, I'm out of money, I'm out of town. You gotta deal with all that stuff. I offer a cheaper rate, but I wanna be paid. I wanna be paid before the season even starts. I don't do any billing. I actually had one guy last year that uh, I did bill him three, that wasn't after every storm. It was just, I broke up the seasonal payment into three. And it was an absolute, I made an exception for him. It was an absolute pain in the butt. He was hard to answer, and I actually never got paid for like the last portion of it. It was like 150 bucks, so I didn't sweat it. But if he calls me back this year, 
and I'm not going to reach out to him. I just don't like he's not my kind of client. Made an exception for him. It burnt me a little bit. If he calls me back, I'm going to bill him for the pay piece that he didn't pay. And I'm not pushing a flake of snow until I get paid for the whole season this year. He hasn't reached out to me yet. I haven't reached out to him. But there's, like I've said a million times, there's plenty of business out there. I'm not going to chase him down. I'm not going to worry about 150 bucks. <sighs> All right, 27 minutes and 49 seconds. We're done. Okay. Now, you want to throw on another five minutes dumping this bucket and getting this ladder back on the truck be my guest but look at this falling all over Ugh. i don't sweat that debris right it's that's not holding up the water there's still there's still a lot of fall left you're always going to get stuck going to those gutters i my big thing is making sure that the water can flow that the downspouts are open That little stuff that's like that um so you can just have a little conversation and just get a little agreement a little understanding about coming back being their guy you can you can go a long way with that i grab that check we're done we earned it um since this is a drive-by upsell and i upsold to that guy when he was out in the road i do not have any con contact information for these guys so i'm gonna ring the doorbell here in a minute maybe i'll leave the camera on in my pocket and we'll do a little talking and i'll talk to them about call me back next year and they want to have a gutter guy some people don't i mean i don't think that, that gutter has been done in a while some people don't do their gutters every year but let's go find out i'll bring a little card give me my truck first let's see so we got business cards here but uh things that stand out a little bit this is going to be for The roof wash, house wash. I got videos on how you make these on Vistaprint. Oh, and then, uh, and then more cards. What we got back in here, which have kind of been a big hit this season. We're almost out. Is a refrigerator magnet. Okay. <clears throat> we'll throw these over here. I'm gonna put you in my pocket going here we got 30 i'm gonna i'm just gonna call this done 30 minutes so 150 bucks 30 minutes let's go knock on this door if she's busy if she, if she might be which is why she left the check on the truck then we'll just leave it here but you're all set oh, all clean who's upstairs <laughs> A little, a little early it's for Santa like Claus. Yeah. <laughs> right, so sometimes I think it's safer to be on the roof and moving the ladder around all the time. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, hey. Tell your husband thank you for letting me flag him down on his way to work out in the street. Yeah, he's always late anyway. So. <laughs> it was, uh, it was quick. Um, I don't have yeah, any of your, your, Eric. Eric, okay. And I don't have any of your contact information. If you wouldn't right, mind, if you could just, Matt. yeah, uh, if you wouldn't mind shooting me a text so I can have your information. Sure, and yeah. um, if you don't mind, and your neighbor Blake over here, I'm going to be doing his gutters every year. We kind of have a, a little bit of a agreement. If you want that done either every year, a couple times a year, or every other year, please feel free to call me anytime. Sure. Okay. Okay. So we're, okay. We'll text you yep. our info. Yeah, please. And uh, perfect. Yeah, our address will you know where we live is on the check. Okay. Right? So, okay. I mean, Make sure I don't forget to grab that. <laughs> yeah, please grab it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. We really appreciate sure, it. Sure. Sure. And if you ever need a house wash or roof wash or anything like that, we do all that. We get the yeah, mold and algae off the house. That. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Cleans all the trim and all the windows, right up the gutters. Absolutely. So feel free to reach out anytime. Okay. How much is it to like power wash? To do this house, to do this house. Okay. and that does that's the exterior, the gutters, all the windows, the screens, all your trim, all your fascia, all the uh, the doors, garage doors, everything. So it's everything, okay. all nice so around. Need to get new garage doors. Sure. <laughs> that simple. <laughs> that simple. We got our check. We're gonna grab our ladder, and we're done. That's it.
All right, one last thing on uh, getting your name out there. Mother of God. Here we go. Okay, so one last thing on getting your name out there. Um, it's really what, what I've been trying to stress lately is that's all you have to do is get your name out there. That phone call that came in on the roof, I had uh, really bad service. So I actually did get a voicemail. It just didn't go through until I left. I had to drive um, I had to drive out of the neighborhood, go a couple blocks before I could even get my GPS going and, and get back home. Um, but here, let's, let's listen to this. Hey, my name is Todd. Um, I live at 530, 530 Road up there in Lake Luzerne. I actually got your phone number off of uh, the Lake Luzerne Facebook page. I was looking for anybody who uh, does snow plowing in the winter. Uh, we just purchased the house up. All right, so we don't need to listen to the rest of that. Um, hopefully I remember to go through and edit out the, the guy's phone number and uh, <laughs> address. The rest of that's not the point. Where do you hear me from? Or where do you hear about me from? A Facebook group right because i put my name out there on facebook i asked people to share my pages i put all my before and after photos on there um i used to pay a lot for uh marketing on facebook um this year i found out that it just wasn't as good as last year made uh probably made about ten thousand dollars at least from just facebook alone last year if not more uh this year i don't know if they changed something with the algorithm and just the ad service just was not as good i, I stopped doing it a long time ago earlier in the season but I still post pictures to my page. I'm always taking photos. I'm always doing something and uh, trying to get uh, some content out there on my page for the community to see. You will shortly see in a video how I want a pretty, pretty sizable job from someone finding my Facebook page. Um, I didn't do any work for that fella. Uh, he referred me to someone else who, who had me do a pretty big job. That one, uh, that one there, was for snow plowing as you heard found about found out about me through um through a facebook page a facebook group now unfortunately i am going to uh i'm gonna have to turn that down i am not gonna take it so he's in lake lazur he's a little bit he's a little outside of town about 15 minutes um if it was a house wash a roof wash gutter job i'd be out there in a heartbeat during a snowstorm that extra 15 minutes especially on the roads that make you that take you to Lake Luzerne um it can really add some time so I stay really close-knit I got rid of um, a lot of my plow accounts from last year and I started picking up uh just ones here in town so I'm not I'm not going to take that job I'm going to call him back and let him know that he's just a little outside of my area for snow removal but I am going to let him know that I do gutter cleaning and house washing and roof washing and the phone okay I gotta go <laughs> Phone's ringing again, but you guys, you guys get the point. So we'll, we'll see you later. Back one more time. Um, that was a call. It was a referral from someone I watched this year. It was uh, one of the lady's mothers, and she wants uh, part of a house washed and gutters. So I gave her a price and won the job. Um, none of this is me, and I don't think it's coming off that way. And I don't think that you guys are receiving that way. I'm not. I'm not trying to brag here. Um, I'm simply trying to show you that it can be this easy. Um, that wasn't I, that, that gutter job that I just uh, that I just upsold didn't cost me anything to do that. It only cost me a half hour of my time. And the same thing goes for the phone call that just interrupted us a minute ago. It was just a referral, and I let people know that I want referrals. I let them know that they need to tell people. When that lady called me, I specifically told her. I said. There is nothing better than a referral. I'm gonna give you a really nice price because I didn't have to do anything to get this business. And I'm not really looking for a transaction there, more of a relationship. Who can she tell? Who does she know? She just said, I'm a mile down the road for my daughter. She did their house, come and do mine. You just need to let people know that you can do it. That you can do it. The work is easy. Go and clean the gutters as long as you're not scared of heights. is really easy. It's, you, you saw it. I tried to keep the camera on there the whole time really wasn't that bad talking the whole way through it uh the same thing the same thing goes with uh same thing goes with uh over here. house wash and roof wash and you do one or two of them you got it all down running the business is a little harder but as you can see it's not much harder you just got to know how to do it you got to get your name out there facebook yard signs tell every person that you go to that you want them to share your name so 
let's get off the let's get off the camera here before the phone rings again um again i am not and i don't think that i come off as as bragging it's yeah i'm just i'm showing you that the business is coming in and i'm barely lifting a finger it's getting your name out there and it's doing the right amount of marketing um and if you're throwing two hundred dollars out there and, and you're not getting and you're not getting a whole lot of return on that you got to spend more than that i, I you don't have to spend four thousand dollars a month like me but you got to spend you got to you got to up your game from a hundred dollars to five hundred and then once you generate money off of that 500 spend 750 and then spend 950 and then spend 1550 and then you you work your way up i don't expect any of you and i did not i didn't i didn't come out of the gate my first season spending four grand i didn't do that till this season but as your business grows and the revenue comes in you reinvest in yourself you reinvest in your business and you do that by marketing and you keep that money coming in and the longer and longer you go the easier it gets you ask for referrals you spend less money and less money and less money on marketing and you bring more and more and more revenue in it's that simple and that's all i'm trying to show you guys is that you can do it um that's it sayonara suckers